Hi there, I'm Truett Tate and I'm chairman of Thinkably. It's my pleasure to be sharing with you today, James the Giant Hero. James was a giant of a man who had huge hands and feet so big that you would hear a boom, boom, boom every time he stepped into a room. Despite being a giant, however, James' heart was even bigger than he was. James was a theater actor who loved leaving audiences smiling and clap, clap, clapping. He also took care of his fellow actors, giving them a sweet, a treat, and a big hug every time they would meet. Unfortunately for James, even though he was loved by all those who knew him, his giant appearance made other people go, ooh, and ah, and eek. He always played the part of big, bad monsters, even though he was kind, very gentle, and nothing like a monster. James would often ask the director, can I play a good person, please? <laughs> the director would laugh, you're a giant. You are and will always be a monster, he told James. A disappointed James thought, well, if I keep doing my best, maybe, just maybe, I'll play the hero someday. One day, the curtain went up and James charged onto the stage, playing a big bad monster, throwing fake trees and destroying stairs, whilst making the theater hall shake every time he took a giant step. As always, the audience went, woo, ah, and eek. But then, he suddenly leaned over the stage towards a little girl in the audience and in his big, bad monster voice said, When you go to sleep tonight, you won't think of the ocean. You'll think of evil. You'll think of the big, bad monster. <laughs> After a moment of silence, the little girl let out a loud wail, started crying and jumped into her mother's arms. The audience started booing and threw rubbish at James to show their displeasure. A stunned James could not believe what he had done. This was not him. He was just playing a big bad monster. James ran off the stage, heartbroken. The play carried on. So did the audience's boos and the little girl's crying. After what felt like an eternity, the theater hall suddenly heard a, a boom, boom, boom. James reappeared, this time not as the big bad monster, but as himself, James, the kind-hearted, gentle giant. He walked towards the little girl and in his trademark fashion, gifted her with a sweet, a treat. And after saying, I'm sorry, gave her a big hug. For the first time ever, James made an audience go, ah. He lifted the little girl up onto the stage, and they danced in time to the audience's clap, clap, clapping. From that day on, James was no longer known as the big bad monster. He was known as James, the giant hero. 